In this video, I'm going to talk about energy storage devices. So there are basically two type of energy storage devices. One is we call supercapacitor and the other is called battery. Look the diagram basically, just we need uh, energy and we also need power. So supercapacitor give us power. This means that look this, this is something is flowing here and energy mean energy density battery also give us energy so let's make the difference between super capacitor and battery very very clear and there is also a, 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 a problem uh, in these two uh, energy storage devices so if somebody wants to do master or PhD by research so they can easily find the problem so look now there we have a power density and this is energy density and we will make it very very clear what is energy density basically means and what is power density basically mean this is watt per kilogram and here is watt arm per kilogram right here we have a capacitor capacitor is also uh, energy storage device and here we have a batteries so this means that battery have more energy density while capacitor have more power density right and super capacitor are in between here right so this means that we need a large energy density as well as high power density so if we go for high power density we are compromising energy density but in if we go for high energy density we are compromising power density so this is the problem and the future is here basically this means that if we achieve this place so this means that we have high energy density as well as we have high power density right look here power density is basically compromised by energy density if we want to increase power density so this means that you do not have energy density i will give you a very very clear analogy power density means that how quickly you deliver current or something so for example if you have storage of something and the storage is small and you want to give more current so it will be empty very quickly energy density is just like the water storage you store something so when you store something in large so it means that when you store something and that is in large quantity and if you want to throw it faster so that storage is basically energy density and when you want to throw it or just like a tap water how fast it's moving this is a power density here we will make it more clear energy density is also compromised by a power density let's make it more clear what is energy density basically mean energy density basically means it is watt r per kilogram so energy density decide how far you can travel for example if we take the example of a car or uh, any vehicle sport car etc and you want to move 1000 or 10,000 meter so this means that you need or if you take the example of runner right runner like the uh, uh, Usain Bolt the, the runner the fast runner so this means that you need you, if you want to go for long distance so you need energy density you need a constant current right travel but if you want to go faster like a hundred meter race a hundred meter race so you need power density right let me make it more more clear energy density basically tells us how much energy the device can store for a given mass or volume for example if you take a specific volume or mass and we want to know how much energy the device store for instance a device having higher energy density can supply current for longer time you see i give the example then one with a low energy density for the same mass you see power density tells us how quickly the device can deliver energy if you need to give more uh, work or to get more work in a short time so that basically we call power density right so power density basically how quickly the device can deliver energy so this means that 
if you want to deliver quickly and you have a small amount store so that is a problem because you will quickly uh, empty the the stuff right like like this one here you see here this means that if you want uh, how fast and the stuff we have less here and you want to discharge it faster so this means it is a problem you will empty this very very uh, quickly so we need a large storage as well as to fast is also very quickly so if we have a large storage so that is a problem we cannot uh, release it faster because we need to storage so there are so many problems you see here and now uh, let's take this example for example if you are going for a thousand meter race for a thousand meter race so do you need battery or super capacitor you need a battery very very simple for here you need a runner need a constant energy for longer time and hence your energy density should be high you need a more storage of fuel or something that is energy density right but if you are going for a hundred meter race so a runner need quick power to accelerate therefore another runner need high power density very very simple now students let me give you a problem the problem is here if you increase energy density so you are compromising on power density but if you are increasing power density you are compromising on energy density right because look here if you want to run faster you do not need heavy thing with you so this means that if you wish if you say that why don't we store more energy in a super capacitor you cannot that will be heavy or something you see so if you want to store more energy more energy so this means that you cannot run faster but if we have less energy store here so you can run faster this is the whole game right so i hope it is very very clear now and there is a problem and if you can solve this problem that you have also high energy density and high power density this means you solve this problem and you can be awarded as a noble laureate.